All right, hey everybody. I wanted to really quick share with you. I am not an expert, but this is how I find the best search titles and sometimes how to find products that I want to create if I'm having like creator's block. And something I learned a long time ago when I first started TPT is that the most important thing that I can do for my business is to stop making things that I love and like to do for myself, which is, I'm not saying don't ever do that, but I had to learn not to just make what I like to do, but to figure out what my customers wanted and to fulfill their needs in my store so that they would find something that they want to purchase. So one way that I do that is first I'll go to TPT search bar. If you just simply click in there, just like I just did, you're gonna see what's popular right now. Distance learning is number one right now. So if you have something that's digital that can be used at home, you need to make sure that you have the word distance learning in your search title. That's number one. Of course, Cinco de Mayo. Now you look at that, that's the top search, but that was yesterday. So would I make something today and put Cinco de Mayo in it for today? No, but if I had something that met that criteria, I would use it for the future. Okay, now let's look at Mother's Day. You got Mother's Day boom cards, Google Classroom distance learning, all those are your top searches. All right, because those are your top searches, that also means that there's gonna be a lot of things and that that fall in there. So you're gonna, your products, if it's brand new, might get buried, all right? So let's just go ahead and look at Mother's Day really quick. I'm gonna click in it. And here is your top search. Now, if you look, I want you to look over here and see the very top thing that comes up is something that has been around for a while. And if you notice, you'll see that there's 8,000 feedbacks on it. So of course, that's gonna, you're gonna get buried there. So if you just put Mother's Day and that's it, no one's really gonna find your product because it goes by how many times you sold your product, how much feedback did your product get? There's a lot of factors that go into their analytics to figure out where you get placed. We're still, look, thousand feedbacks. So yours would most likely get buried. So what I do is I'll go in and I'll click right afterwards. Now, if you look, now it says Mother's Day Distance Learning, Mother's Day Crafts, Mother's Day Craft, Mother's Day Writing. Click on one of those. So I'll click on Mother's Day Writing. And now we're getting down. This one has 163. So if you have a Mother's Day Writing unit or activity, this would probably be a good one for you to put in your search title because you might show up in the first three to four pages is where you want to be. First is ideal, of course, that would be the best. And if you scroll all the way down, let me show you, scroll all the way down, this shows you how many products there are. So there's over 7,000. And if I go back to where that just Mother's Day search was, I'm going to go back there, this one, we're all just Mother's Day and there were so many products. Let's see how many products are at the bottom here. 16,000. So you can see how it narrows your search. Now also, related searches for Mother's Day. Look down here. TPT is helping you out. They want you to pick something very specific that fits your product. You don't want to put something in there if it doesn't fit your product because then no one's going to buy it. But they will help you by looking down here. Maybe you have a uh, let's see Mother's Day craft book. Maybe you have that. So Click on that and sometimes it'll either show you the actual product or if there's more than one Mother's Day book, then they'll show you a few of them, okay? All right, so let me go back and I'm gonna show you some, another secret, a Cindy secret, okay? One of the things that I love to do, and no one ever told me this, I just kind of figured it out, but let's just say I go in and I have something for distance learning that I want and maybe it's a, uh, Google, maybe it's a, uh, let's do reading comprehension with Google Slides, okay? Let's say I have that and I want to put it in my search title, but I'm going to go and look and I'm going to see, look over here, sort by relevance. So the most popular one is right here. And if I go all the way down, I'm going to see that there's 4,000, okay? That's a lot. 
if I have a new product that I'm putting up, right? So go back up to the top. I'm sorry if this is making you dizzy because I'm going so fast, but click sort by most recent. Okay, you're gonna notice that these are the ones that have just been uh, up, uploaded, just like mine will just be uploaded if I'm just now making it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm gonna look, does anybody have feedback yet? Does anyone have feedback? All right, so far, no feedback. It's no feedback. Keep going. And then if you get to the bottom and you want to skip pages, go to the fifth page of most recent. Let's see if there's anything with feedback. And what I'm doing is I'm, I might not, here's one, but it's a freebie. I want something that's a paid resource. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out what is something that somebody uploaded that is super popular already. So if you get something, Cinco de Mayo, uh, digital learning Google Slides, obviously somebody just clicked on that. This one has two online learning Google Slides. So that, whenever you're looking at, like say there was 10 to 20 and this just got uploaded, if there's 10 to 20, that's obvious that people are looking for that product. And then I might use the, whatever they have in that search title to help with my search title. Okay, this is a science when it comes to SEO of TPP products. Let me tell you something else that I do. Okay, now I will spend, seriously, sometimes I will spend a full day on one search title that's good for my product, a full day, because I wanna make sure that I'm hitting my market. And if you get that magic search title perfect, and you know that it's being searched and you're fulfilling needs, then it pays off, all right? So another thing I do is I utilize my Pinterest account. If you don't have Pinterest, let me move my face over. If you don't have Pinterest, I'm very sorry. You need to get it and get the business account because then you can get your analytics and you can run ads. So I get a lot of my traffic from Pinterest. This is what I do to figure out search words they usually sometimes will go hand in hand with what TPT search bar is, but not always, okay? So I'm gonna click add. Now, just cause I'm clicking create add does not mean that I'm gonna actually create it, okay? Just click it, trust me, you're not gonna get charged. Um, let me say cancel that. I'm gonna pretend like I'm going to make one, but I'm not going to. So click traffic, whatever, continue. Now, when you get to this page, scroll down, and you're gonna see these keyword area over here. This is how I find out what is being searched the most on Pinterest. You can use the search bar on Pinterest, just like I showed you for TPT, but this does it so much better. It's much more detailed. So let's say I'm doing kindergarten, let's see, I can't see, uh, reading. And then I stop there, and if you look, you're gonna see the keywords over here. It says kindergarten, reading idea, fun reading, kindergarten reading center, five million monthly search. This is like a lot of people searching for these items, right? So let's see how specific we could get. Pre-K reading, so reading centers for kindergarten. If you had something for reading centers for kindergarten, that's a good search title for your pen, all right? The pen is going to lead someone to either to your blog that's gonna lead them to your store or it'll just lead them to their store, okay? Let me see. Um, scroll down, we could do one. Let's do writing, uh, what's coming up? Mother's Day. Crafts. Okay, so I got Mother's Day crafts. Let's go down here. It, it's not in here. So am I going to want to use Mother? Oh, wait, there it is right there. Five mil. Okay, so I would use it. If you didn't see whatever it was you typed in there in the search box at all, then you might not want to use that as a search title. And if you keep scrolling, you'll see that these numbers are going to change. And of course, the more people who are monthly searching in the five mil plus, because I think that's as high as they go, is what you would want to use. All right. So I hope that this helps you guys a little bit figure out how to search, how to use, how to figure out 
what would be great for your search titles. This is also something that you want to do for your blog. You would want like is is most people if they're looking for a craft gift right here, craft gifts for mom, write a blog about it and put your image of whatever your uh, your product is in for that. Okay. Um, let's see anything else. Oh, I'll give you an example too. If somebody has, let's say, let me go to my store real quick. I'll go to my store. Okay, so I'm in my store right now and I'm gonna look at, I don't wanna go to that one. Let me go to one that's not like, I'll do most recent. Okay, so let's see, this is one that I just put up end of the year awards, distance learning, Google Slides, editable, okay? That's one, it's a Google Slides that I just put up there. Now, if I had this up and I had on there, mm, let's just say class certificates, okay? Because that's what these are, class certificates. And I decided to just use class certificates as my search title. Do you see it popping up in the search at all? It's not. So this is not something I'd want to use in my search title. Okay. Now if I see glass, I don't have my glasses on, so sorry. Class awards. Oh, there it is. Now you know why I picked class awards. Okay. All right, I hope this helped. You guys have a great day. Go shop the sale. Find something that is amazing that will help you in your store make more money. And uh, changing your search titles is something you can do for free that is going to boost your sales. All right, I hope you guys have a good one. Stay safe, stay healthy.